Yeah, I, I think you're going to be buying a tank there, Buckwheat, because uh, that's a pretty horrendous fucking crack. I'm going to try to solder it up, but I don't see it lasting. We'll, uh, I mean, not solder it. I'm using a soldering iron, but I'm going to try to stitch it. But that's a big gap to fill there, buddy. part I'm worried about right here right there right there in the center where everything intersects yeah well that would be the weakest point well this feels nice and solid here this stuff that's uh, cooled off yeah. you know this is all mushy because I got it all hot Next your iron there, right, right there. Got a little, Here? Hole, a little bit more over. Right there. Oh, right there. Yeah, you see a little hole. Man, I'm trying to mush it all together. You got any more, uh, you don't have that can of WD 40 anymore, do you? I do not think so. I want to try a trick that I was reading or listening to the guy yesterday. What trick is that? Put, uh, actually I could probably use hydraulic oil. A real thin oil in the grease gun. Prime it up, fucking use that to. Basically to get a zerk fit. Yeah. Okay. Now I say use penetrating oil, which makes sense to me, but. can't get Scotty boy to buy me that fucking tool. I almost bought it this morning. I'm like, God damn it, I'm not buying any more fucking tools. I'm fucking tired of buying tools to work on this shit. All right, I'm gonna call this good. We can let this cool off while we do the other side. All right. And then we'll fucking seal it up with that dog shit. You wanna shit on a dog, gotcha. <laughs> Well, it looks better than it fucking did. And I know that last one I did didn't fucking leak, so. Yeah, but it probably ain't taking on as much gallons as this. All right, so show that crack. All right, so, this is just a small one. The one on the other side was fucking ridiculously big. All right, so I wire brushed this thing. Now I'm going to just stitch it. Start just before. I'm not going to go all the way through. Just down into it. Because we want to bind those two sides together. Try not to make too big of a stitch here. Or should I say, don't want to separate them too far. Because it's kind of like you're sewing. And 
And since this one isn't a full blown busted out crack, all we're gonna do is just smooth everything out since we've already stitched it. Get back just a little bit farther, that way we can terminate that crack. Now the thing about it is when you do this, you can still see the crack underneath. It looks like a clear area. So that's why we try to bite into both sides, melt it, and then smooth it all back out. Because this right here is gonna be sitting right up against the support that the, the tank sits in and we don't want rough edges rubbing on that support because that just opens the door for more fucking problems here nice and smooth I would say we're pretty good on that one there buckaroo no all right all right well, this is truck bed spray on liner stuff sprayed over the top of this. This is the second coat. And at least give it a little bit of something in there. So it's fairly smooth. I mean, it doesn't really look smooth in the video, but that whole area is pretty smooth. That's just kind of crinkly looking crap right there. But anyway, that was that big ass crack right there. So. Right there, set it right in there, and I'll bet you it's harder to put it back in than it is to take it out. <laughs> hey, you watch what you're doing, fag. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> you just look dangerous to me. You look like an evil person. Yeah, you, boy. <laughs> 